Good morning, everyone. I'm back. Uh, the dog is doing a little bit better. Not really, uh, you know, all gone, but I can see that the leg, her leg is getting a little bit more thinner. So it's going the right way. So I'm still not sure what it what it was, but I'm happy that, you know, she's walking on it already. So that's a good sign. Uh, okay, guys. What I'm going to do is another uh, of these big ones. The ones I did, I think it was now two weeks ago. Uh, to give you an uh, idea of the... Uh, how big it is this is a foot long of course 12 inches so it's uh 12 yeah almost 20 inches by 8 inches something like that so that's how big they are they're pretty big normally i i i pour on 20 by 20 so this is two and a half times as big but that's what we're gonna do uh, i'm gonna try to do the bottle cap again but the thing is, I'm going to do three. So this one, I'm going to do... Uh, I, I'm, I want to do something different. That's the thing. And uh, the difference in it is going to be that I'm going to put on more bottle caps, but with less paint. So we're going to make sure that the, uh, the canvas is flooded. And I, you can see how thin it is, but this is, uh, of course... This is the uh, the bottom layer, and uh, of course your paint that you pour with is a little bit thicker than this. But this uh, just you know causes the paint that you pour to go into the background, and that effect is something that I really really like. Um, the bigger the better, but I don't want to make this paint too thin so that it you know the the whole effect is lost because as we all know if the paint is too thin you will lose all the uh the cell structure that you got into it uh, a lot of people have that problem if you do um if you pour and all of a sudden you know an hour later you're losing all your cells uh there's only one thing to do is make the paint just a little bit thicker and then if it's still uh, goes away make it thicker again now um, I still get a lot of questions about my mix and the thing is that it's really easy to find on my channel so um, I have playlists and there's one playlist that shows uh, the total the basics of everything so I would encourage you to go look for that one the playlist with the basics A lot of people just see one video and then uh, they sort of ask me uh, in the mail or, or in the comments they just say could you please tell me your whole mix and it's really not about just the mix but it's a lot of typing to do if I were to do uh, tell you what it's all about so um, yeah I could copy paste that but you know I have so many videos where where I really explain it into depth that I'm thinking, you know, that would be a shame if you didn't watch that video. Because there's a lot of information in there. Let's see, do we have any drips? No, we don't. Not much dripping off here. So I'll have to take some out of the cup. Nicely in the corner. There we go. Now again, this is uh, not white. It is, uh, well, a lot of different names for this color. Some people call it eggshell. Some say it's beige. Some say it's cream. And it's the same over here in Holland, though. You know, we all have different names for uh, the same color. So that's perfectly okay. No problem whatsoever. Okay. That's layer one. So I'm getting rid of the uh, the air bubbles. That's it. They're all gone. And I'm just going to make sure that it smooths out a little bit more. Because as we know, when we 
put paint in the middle, you'll get these slight little ridges, but that, that just goes with the way this is made. So, you know, you won't really see a lot of it, but we'll see what happens. Now, what I want to do is do one, two, three, four, five, six bottle caps. And in every single one, I want a little bit of gold color or a metallic color. This one is bronze. I'm going to do three bronzes and I'm going to do three with gold. And then I'm going to mix them up, of course. I don't want them all in a row because you don't want the top half to have gold and the bottom half have the, the bronze because that would be, I don't know, I don't think it, that'll look good. There we go. Whoops, almost went into the bronze one. Oh, I did, I see, but that's okay. One little drop won't hurt. So now I'm going to mix them up. That's it. So we have bronze. See my fingers here? Bronze, gold, bronze, gold, bronze, gold. Now I'm going to come in with the nice turquoise. And this is, of course, uh, the darker turquoise. Now someone mentioned that the colors um, in the video are not as vibrant as the picture, but to tell you the truth, the um, in reality it will be somewhere in between because um, as you know, monitors all differ in how they show colors. That's why when you buy something online it always says, disclaimer is that depending on your monitor it will have a different color. Well, just slightly, not really a whole lot of different color, but just slightly. There it is. That's that color. Then we want to come in with this really nice sienna. There you go. Nice sienna color. And I don't want to fill it up, so I'm going to be careful not to put in too much paint. And of course I have to come back in with the background color with a little bit of silicone in it. Because that's sometimes what it needs to give a, a little bit of cells. That's about enough. That's it. And then, of course, the dark brown, because that one sort of does do the cells into the background, which I really like. So I'm going to do this pour, and I, I think I'm going to do all the pours, and then I'm going to do the giveaway, because then I can clean up and do the giveaway. Otherwise, I might have my big hat smooching in the paint. don't want to have my hat smooched. Okay. Now, this time I really want to be careful, so I'm going to get my sleeve out of the way. Isn't there another way to do this? I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking. What about if we did this? See? On a big pellet knife? Oh no, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. Let's put it back. Eh, see that? <laughs> okay, we'll just have to uh, MacGyver it like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and spread it out a little bit. That's pretty much centered. That's what I was going for. Now let's see what happens. Eh, shouldn't do that. I saw something that I shouldn't be doing. That's that. And this one needs a little bit more pushing the paint. There it is. 
Now, <clears throat> we're going to spread it out a little bit because that's what it needs. Let's spread it out a lot because I was thinking about having this one, you know, really subtle like. Okay, seeing some good stuff happening. Now I see the gold and here's gold, here's bronze. I see it all happening, so that's good. But I do want to spread it out just a little. And back and forth. See this, this way I don't have to tilt it uh, the other way. Sorry, my head's in the way. That's about it. Now, as we can see here, all along the edge, it's starting to uh, pour into the background. And that's a good thing because that's what we want. We want this to grow totally into the background. And I would have liked this to go down on just a little bit, but I'm sure that's not going to happen. Nope. We'll just leave it like this. There's a little bit where I touched it up here where there's a little bit of blue, which we don't need. And here I touched it. So we're going to put the, a little bit of paint here on the edge. That's it. Now we're going to wait a little bit. Um, I'm going to stop the video or it's going to be too long. I'm going to stop it and you'll see that this, the whole uh, sides are going to go and, and go into the background just a little. Uh, I, I'm not thinking it's going to go in too much because I, I didn't thin it as much as I did yesterday. But there are some awesome cell structures going on. And this is really pretty. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is the uh, the first one I did. So as you can see, how the paint pours into the background, makes these huge, beautiful cells, which I think is really pretty. That is really pretty. I really like my bottle cap pours. Don't know why, but I do. They make for some uh, really beautiful effects. So put it up a little. <clears throat> there you go. And it still has a lot of negative space, as you can see. Let me put, show you from here. See that? Still has a lot of negative space. But it's still really pretty. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Later.